the way you're gonna get a smooth, frizz-free blow dry is by really making sure that you get that cuticle to lay down. Good morning. My name is Brian Hare. I'm here on behalf of Free Salon Education Live. And today I'm serving you blow dry tips. So hopefully I can give you some tips today that are gonna help your guests really appreciate the skills that you can put into the finishing of their hair. All right, so I'm gonna be going over two just very basic blow dries. That's why I split her down the middle. On one side, it's gonna be a little bit more of a, you know, just a smoother technique that I like to use when guests aren't looking for a whole lot of body and bounce. And then on the other side, it's gonna be just a very, very standard blow dry with a little bit of bounce to it, a little bit of movement. Something that's really great, especially if you're doing any kind of layered haircut on your desk that you want to show off all the layers that you put in, in a way that gives it some lift and some oomph. So for now, we're going to just continue to rough dry a little bit, just because one thing that I want to make sure that I'm going to reiterate a lot of times over the course of this, you really want to focus on always making sure that no matter what your technique is, you always want to point your air from roots to ends. You always want the air traveling down the hair, no matter what direction the hair is being dried in. And the reason for that is because the way you're going to get a smooth, frizz free blow dry is by really making sure that you get that cuticle to lay down. So the way to get that cuticle to lay down is going to be traveling from root to end. Because that's the direction that the cuticle goes, so that's the direction that the air is going to go. And then once you start to get that hair nice and dry and you get to about this point where we're getting pretty dry, now it's time to go in and actually get some style into this using your tools. I'm going in with a nice size round brush. You know, the smaller brush you use, the more it's gonna try to put a curl in that hair. The larger brush you use, the bigger that curl would be. Therefore, if you're looking for a really smooth, low bounce kind of finish, you're gonna want a bigger brush. Also, if you are in some kind of time crunch, size of the brush you use should also be dictating the size of the section you take. So if you're in kind of a pinch, you're not gonna wanna go for a smaller barrel brush because you're gonna have to take more sections to get the job done. All right, so I am such a huge advocate for when you are blow drying your guest, starting in the front and then moving to the back. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna section off the back. We're gonna start with the smooth side. You wanna to try to hit as many sides of this hair as possible. So what I mean by that, I like to think of this section, which I have picked out because it's the same size as the brush. From bristle to bristle, my section is as wide as that. The reason for that is because if you're putting any structure into this blow dry, which you should be because that's why you're doing it, if the section is larger than the brush is, it won't have the foundation to hold. Meaning if I take a section that's this large, but go in with a brush that's only half that size, there's too much over direction. So when I take the brush out of that hair, whatever work you put in, it doesn't have that base to it and it's just gonna fall out. Flip it up, hit the underside of the hair. If you've got the dexterity, come in, hit the front side of the hair. And what that's doing is you're just making sure that you're hitting every side of that each hair strand to close as much of that cuticle as possible. And then you give yourself whatever you want the root to be. If it's smooth, direct it down. If it's body, direct it up. Hit those roots three good times. And notice where I'm putting my blow dryer in relation to the hair. I'm still making sure that I'm pointing my air towards the ends of the hair because that's making sure that my cuticle is still laying down. I see sometimes people will go and stick the thing right in and you see what that did? If you go in the middle of the brush, it flares up the hair up that mid shaft, which is now fluffing up my cuticle, causing more tangles, less shine, and just making a mess.
So now you've got that little bit of kick at the end. I'm just gonna leave it because I, I'm not necessarily looking for like a, a crazy flare, but I'm gonna leave that so that when it cools and I'm done and I run my hands through everything, the hair's not just hanging there. It at least has a little bit of movement. Just like when you're doing color, think about where you're directing that section. If I'm looking for lots of body and lift, then you gotta focus on your elevation. Look at the elevation of where this hair lives in relation to where it's growing on the head. This is the round of the head. So if I direct this towards me, you're now going under the 90. So you're gonna be getting very little lift and movement. Versus if I want more, then you're gonna go beyond that 90 degrees and that's where you're gonna get that bounce right at the root. really important spot. This is a spot that's very easy to accidentally leave a little too wet at the root. And let me just tell you how disheartening it is to do a whole beautiful blow dry. And people always know that this spot is so easy to miss and they reach back and feel that's wet and it's like, ugh. So always make sure that you give this some extra attention because the hair is super dense there on just about everybody. So it's easy to miss some spots. So when you come back here to work on the back of the head, make sure that you give that a little extra love just to, to keep it looking a good rate. It's just like up front, we were looking at the section this way. Now in the back, I'm looking at my section this way. Look at my width, make sure it's not wider than the bristles. We're good, we're good. I can do this section. So this is a nice, simple, quick technique for just getting the hair dry, but keeping it nice and smooth. So now, on the other side of the head, we are gonna switch to putting nice, big, voluminous body in the hair. We're going to be getting nice power dry, roots to ends, get that cuticle laying down before you even go in with the round brush. It's gonna make your life easier. It's gonna make the hair look a lot better. Start in the front because nobody wants to sit there and look at themselves looking like a drowned, wet rat. All right, so similar, same sectioning, front to back. So I'm gonna come in and get something dictated by the size of my brush that I know is going to work because we are looking for a little bit of lift. Whatever product you choose to use, if you're going for an extra body kind of effect here, make sure that you've got it at the root. Extra body product, it's, it's not meant for this. It's meant for here because extra body needs to lift it up off the head. So whether it's a mousse or a spray or whatever tickles your fancy, make sure you've got it at the root and you're working to get that hair off the root to give yourself that lift that you need. So the same as before, you wanna come in while you're getting that moisture out of the hair, hitting the hair from every angle possible. But now, instead of putting the brush on top to stretch the hair down and focus on smooth, we're gonna be putting the brush underneath to stretch the hair up and give it some lift and movement. Take your blow dryer, I put it on this side of the brush, and then tip it. It just gives you a little bit of added insurance that you're gonna be sending the cuticle and the hair in the right direction. I roll the hair back up to the head, heat it up a little bit, give it a hot second just to cool down. Then, when I come out, this is where it gets a little tricky. Come out a little bit, I like to kick the hair back as I unroll it and then let it fall like that. So when I take it off the brush like that, 
the end gets a little frayed, so just like on the other side where you work the end a little bit with your hand, I might come in, give it a little, little scrunch, like a curl there. Now for my front piece, if you like a little bit of drama, I like to say keep some kind of pin curl clip on you because what we're gonna do here, just to add a little flair. It's just a blow dry, but that doesn't mean that you can't wow somebody with how their hair is gonna look at the end. So I'm gonna approach this in the same way, giving my extra body, hitting it from as many angles as possible, giving that lift, spinning those ends, And what I'm gonna do with this section, rather than doing the little twist back and spin, which you can, and it's fine, I'm gonna roll it back up over my hand and then just clip it and hold it. What that's gonna do is as this hair cools, it's gonna be in this curl formation with it lifted up off the scalp. That's the important part. It's just like when you learn rollers in beauty school, on base, off base, all that stuff. Lift it up, give yourself that lift at the, at the base Flip that in there, it's gonna cool into that nice formation so that when I take this out, let it down, run my fingers through it, it's gonna have a really nice dramatic sweeping around the face that's just gonna go, wow. This is another section that if you got time to kill, because it's up on top like this, if you're really going for the most extra body lift you can get, this is another one that's a good section to pin because it's up on top of the head. If this cool is standing straight up and then you take it down, you're gonna get a nice lift up in that crown area that people like to see. You can already see, before I've even started playing with it, the difference between the two sides. One has movement, one is much more static. It's meant to just be smooth and lay there. The whole point of this is to dance around the head and look awesome. I wanna show you now that my front section has cooled. Take that out, you see it has a little bit, it tried to hold a little bit of curl there. What I like to do when this blow dry is finished, I'll have my guests lean their head back and then I'll take some kind of finishing cream or pomade, whatever you want in your hands, just something that's going to create a little bit of definition. And then I'll come through and I'll actually work through the hair, give me that little toss, play with the, the body a little bit, lift, give it that kick. And you see, it didn't keep any of the curl that we put into it, but now she just has some lift and some movement to her hair that she doesn't have on the other side. So if you have any kind of requests or anything like that, you can hit me up on my Instagram. I'm hairstyle the E on Instagram. I'm also obviously on the FSE Now app. You can contact me on there, whatever you want. And uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next week.